Let's go to the first quarter of this North 1 Group 2 final, and Matt Zaretti gives top-seeded Pascal Kills a 2-0 lead here for the Cowboys. But second-seeded Jefferson knots the score here as Mike Kern finds Bash Sagey down low for this nice look. Mike Horn gives Pascal Kills a 5-2 lead here when he drops in this tray from behind the arc for the Cowboys. And the Cowboys go on a 7-2 run here as their outstanding guard Jake Wolfen connects from behind the arc, and it's 12-4 Pascal Kills. But watch crafty Jefferson senior Derek Hall work his magic down low and he hits his little left-handed turnaround. But the Falcons trail 15-11 after one quarter. Let's go to the second quarter and Matt Zaretti, who had a big game for the Cowboys with 15 points, gets the hoop in the harm here and Pascal Kills goes up 18-11. And Pascal Kills extends its lead to 24-13 here as Jake Wolfen finds nice Mike Freeberg roll. who cans the J, forcing a Jefferson timeout. But it doesn't slow down the Cowboys as Wolfen again distributes we'll the ball. This time he finds Zaretti for two, and it's 26-15 Cowboys. And the Cowboys cap a tremendous first half here as Wolfen gets the conventional three-point play, and Pascat takes a 34-19 lead into the locker room at halftime here at Cranford High School. Okay, third quarter, Pascat Kills keeps the hot hand as Matt Zaretti again scores with this putback, and it's 36-19 Cowboys. But Jefferson keeps on battling. Watch this nice look as Gavin McCartney finds Great Nolan ball. Lehman for two as the Falcons make it 40-29. And the Falcons cut the lead to nine here, 40-31, on this run out as McCarney finds Mike Kern, but Pascal Kills takes a 44-32 lead into the fourth quarter. Now watch Bash Sagey in transition, and the Jefferson sharpshooter pulls up and drills his three-pointer, and the Falcons are right back in the game as they trail 44-36. And the Falcons keep clawing back. Watch this athletic play by Gavin McCarney as he collects his own miss and converts the putback, and it's 44-38. And Jefferson cuts Pascat's lead to four off the turnover here as McCartney finds Nolan Lehman to make it 48-44, forcing a Pascat timeout. Okay, time is running out on Jefferson, and Mike Kern keeps the Falcons alive with this three-pointer with three seconds left to make it 60-57. But the Cowboys hold off the furious Falcon rally as Mike Freeberg hits a free throw as Pascat wins the section title with a 62-57 win to advance to the Group 2 semifinals as Tara Petrolino gets the post-game reaction. I really felt that um, picking up the pressure in the second half kind of forced them to have a few turnovers and all that. But, I mean, they're a great team. They handled the pressure fine, and it just wasn't enough to come through at the end of the game. First quarter, I picked up two quick fouls. Uh, had to sit a little bit, but D told me I wasn't going to be sitting the whole first half because in this game at this caliber, is, there's no way I could sit the whole or first half. And, and just coming to the second half, we knew, even being down 15, we, we were in bigger holes than this, so we knew that we were going to fight to the end. I mean, we didn't want to lose at all, as you could tell out there. I mean, it's just it's terrible to end it this way. We came out a little slow. The, the lead was a little bit big to uh, come back from. But, you know, what? I think if, you know, we would have came out a little stronger, different game. But, you know, what? we can't say anything like that. You know, it's in the past now. I think uh, in the first half, uh, we got a little bit rattled with their pressure. And uh, we were a little quick on our shots. And we're usually a very good shooting team. Um, the sec and, and the foul trouble with Gavin McCartney really hurt us. Um, in the second half, he made a couple shots early, and that's all we needed to break the ice. And then we were able to relax and play, you know, our style of game and, you know, get our shots off. And uh, so I think that really hurt us in the beginning. He had us on our heels and the foul trouble. Still nothing to hang their heads about as the Jefferson Falcons went on to win another SCIL title and another SCIL festival crown, posting a total record of 26-3, the most wins in Jefferson history. The way our coach puts it, he claims that we're the, we're the best team to ever come through Jefferson. So, I mean, as, uh, as that being said, that it kinda, it's kind of like a memory going through it, knowing that we've been, I guess, the best team in the SCI, uh, Jefferson history. So, I mean, that's what I'm going to remember about my senior year. It's unbelievable. I mean, so the senior classes, I mean, they've been amazing. It's a great uh, group of guys to play with. I mean, we've had so much fun with them if, uh, through football with that whole the whole run we had through the state finals and then this team. I mean, we're a close group of friends. I mean, I'll always remember them. I mean, next year it's going to be a lot of, uh, very different without them. I think we're the greatest team ever playing Jefferson history, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, I mean, no one likes to go out with uh, losing the championship, but uh, nothing we could do about it. You know, we, we gave it our all, absolutely gave it our all. It's tough to look at this group and watch them leave. Uh, you know, 10 seniors, all gentlemen, all competitors. Uh, my job has been great for the last two years. I mean, it's the easiest job in the world. I mean, any, any guy could coach this group and be successful. You know, they know how to play the game. They have a high basketball IQ. And I'm just very fortunate, you know, to have this group. And, you know, I told them, I told them today, keep your heads high. You have every, you know, nothing to be ashamed of. And, uh, you know, your years are going to live forever in the walls of Jefferson, you know, with your banners that you've put up. So I'm just very proud of them. Looking towards the future for the Falcons, Coach DeGenero and Gavin McCarney, both seeing big things up ahead for Jefferson. You can't replace uh, Derek Kerr and Boss or Noel. I mean, they're great seniors. They're all leaders out there. But, I mean, we got 
we got a bunch of kids coming up with Drew Hall. Uh, Cuccio, who's a freshman, he's a big kid. And we got a couple of juniors and sophomores who are stepping up. I mean, the league's changed a lot next year and sort of favors us. I mean, a lot of the, we're back in the smaller group and everything. But, I mean, I'm going to miss these guys like crazy. I mean, it's an awesome time playing with them. Well, we're going to have a, a big changeover. I know we're gonna, we have a lot of young, talented kids, and we have some kids coming back. So it's going to be very, very interesting uh, to see a Jefferson team without uh, that shaggy blonde hair running up and down the floor because he's been starting for three years. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be, you know, a different team. And, uh, you know, I, I have good kids in the program. So we're excited for the future.